So honestly, that's that's gonna be. <gasps> no, the, no. That's gonna Why be the most. Why did we reveal that on Twitch? Why did we reveal that? That's gonna be the Dude, most damage you could possibly do. That's the do. worst because if you find, look at this. Oh. Hey everyone, I've got a bit of bad news regarding one of the new fragments in Season of the Chosen. I'm sure you already know where this is going, but stick around if you want all the information I managed to dig up in private testing, and you probably do. If you find today's video informative in any way, let me know by clicking the like button and subscribing if you haven't already. Okay, week one of Season of the Chosen, I was doing early reviews of all the new aspects and fragments that had been added into the game. We came across the Whisper of Torment fragment and read the following. You gain grenade energy each time you take damage from combatants. The key word in that sentence being combatants. Ever since my video on the weapon perk Thresh, we'd collectively come to the conclusion that any perk in the game that contains the word combatants referred to PvE only. We came to that conclusion because I'd shown that Thresh did not work in PvP. I had some folks telling me that the term combatants had always been bungee lingo for PvE only, and that I was a dummy for thinking even for one minute that it might also work in PvP. You know where this is going. Day one of season 13, I assumed that Whisper of Torment was a PvE only fragment, but as it turns out, that's not the case. You do, in fact, get grenade energy for taking damage in PvP with Whisper of Torment. The big question you're probably wondering, how much energy? Let's find out. But before we get going, I want to give a big shout out to Opera GX. They're the sponsor of today's video. If you didn't know, Opera is a tailored browser for the gaming community, and I'm going to tell you why you should check them out. First up, we got GX Control right up here on the left. With this, you don't have to worry about having a bunch of open tabs slowing you down while you're playing a game. With GX Control, you can quickly 86 any tabs that are using up too much CPU or RAM. Likewise, you can use the network, RAM, or CPU limiter features here on the left to give you more control and limit how much bandwidth or RAM Opera GX can use. With GX Corner, you can grab free games, check upcoming release dates, or browse through game deals and news. You can even link up your Twitch account with just a few clicks. Then you'll always know what channels you follow or live at the moment and what games they're playing. Maybe check out this channel right here while you're at it. <laughs> Please, God, I'm so lonely. Or you can link your Discord account or whatever messenger service you enjoy using most. You can also customize your Opera browser with special wallpapers and colors, although I actually love the regular design with its extremely dark theme. White lights hurt my brooding gremlin eyes, don't you know? If you're looking for a browser custom designed for gamers, I highly recommend downloading Opera GX. Head down low to the comment section and use my special link to download Opera GX for free. I really think you're gonna like it. Thank you again to Opera for sponsoring today's video. Video. All right, back to the content. Here is everything I managed to figure out so far about the Whisper of Torment. First question I wanted to answer, how much energy do you get back? Answer, it depends. As we've seen with other perks that replenish ability energy, the amount of grenade energy you get back from Torment depends on what level discipline you're running. Here's a few numbers for you. At tier zero discipline, your dusk field grenade normally recharges in about two minutes and 24-ish seconds give or take a few frames. After taking a sniper shot to the body from my buddy in a private match, a big chunk of energy came back and the total grenade cooldown time was now about two minutes and three-ish seconds. That means that from that one shot, Torment shaved about 21 seconds off my total grenade cooldown timer. I know, that's a lot off of one bullet, right? Well, again, it changes on your discipline level. More numbers. At tier 10 discipline, your Duskfield nade normally recharges in about 52-ish seconds, give or take a few frames. After taking another sniper shot to the body, just like before, Torment now brings our total grenade timer to 44 seconds, and a handful of frames. All in all, we've gone from Whisper of Torment shaving off about 21 seconds with tier zero to shaving off about eight seconds with tier 10. TLDR, Whisper of Torment refunds grenade energy no matter what, but you'll get refunded a bit less the higher up in discipline you go. Now you might be thinking, well, hold the F on here, bro. Eight seconds shaved off with every friggin' bullet you get hit by? That's kind of insane. If I pepper an enemy guardian with a rinky dinky low impact SMG, would they get back eight seconds off their nade charge per bullet? Not exactly. Thank God. The next thing I looked into was, does the nade energy refunded translate to literally every bullet you get hit by 
The short answer is no. Whisper of Torment is essentially time gated. When my friend shoots me rapid fire with a low damage weapon like an SMG or auto rifle, if you look carefully, you'll notice that while my nade energy goes up periodically, it isn't leaping up with every single bullet I'm hit by when my friend is firing the gun at max rate of fire. Now, here he is shooting me slowly with controlled fire. With a full second or two in between bullets, now every bullet I'm taking damage from is refunding me a tiny bit of grenade energy. Whisper of Torment is time gated. You'll get that nade energy back with about one second or so gaps of the fragment activating. That kind of means that every time you're in PvP and you take damage and live to tell the tale, Congratulations, you just got your grenade charged up a little bit, courtesy of the other guy failing to kill you. But we ain't done yet. How about this question? Does the amount of damage you take directly contribute to the amount of energy refunded? No and yes. When getting shot by my buddy with a sniper rifle, I noticed that I was getting a much larger chunk of nade energy coming back as opposed to when he was shooting me with one bullet from an auto rifle. First, I thought more damage per bullet equals more energy refunded, right? But when I compare the nade energy refunded on that same auto rifle per bullet compared to a 120 RPM hand cannon bullet, the grenade energy refunded turned out to be exactly equal. Kinda weird considering that one hand cannon bullet from a steady hand is way more damage than a bullet from a summoner auto rifle. Here's my best guess. The snipe shot was refunding more energy because not only was I taking damage, but it was enough damage to break my shields and put me into critical red health. TLDR there, you'll get refunded the same amount of grenade energy no matter how much damage you take in one instance but if your shields get broken, you get bonus grenade energy. So yeah, to a degree, you'll get more energy back from getting hit harder. Now, to all you would-be evil geniuses out there trying to concoct weird ways of uh, exploiting the already powerful potential of Whisper of Torment even further, well, I got bad news. Bungie's kind of beaten you to the punch on a few things. Here's what I tried that didn't work. First up, Tommy's matchbook, AKA the gun that you can fire for so damn long that you literally burn yourself. Thankfully, that does not trigger torment, as far as I can tell. Likewise, with all other methods of hurting yourself without actually getting put in the ground. Ricochet rounds, bouncing hard light bullets off the wall, even having your teammate try to damage you with the Symmetry Exotic Scout Rifle, which apparently is a thing you can do. None None of these methods resulted in Whisper of Torment activating. Although, I should have told you that they did, just to see a few handfuls of people out there in PvP trying. Admit it, it would have been funny. The methods that will work are ones that maybe you would expect. First up, we have Mask of the Quiet One, exotic helmet for Titan players. That helmet will stack with Whisper of Torment, kind of. When testing Mask of the Quiet One, which normally gives you back ability energy when taking damage, I had my buddy shoot me a few times with a sniper, an auto rifle, and a hand cannon. When comparing regular Whisper of Torment to Whisper of Torment plus Mask of the Quiet one, the one time it didn't stack was when I took damage from the hard-hitting sniper rifle. The amount of nade energy refunded did not change when the mask was factored in, but when taking damage from the auto rifle and the hand cannon, there was extra nade energy refunded with the mask. I guess the two things can stack together, but not when taking major heavy damage. Good to know. The other methods that work are risky. They all involve willingly walking into attacks or damaging abilities to intentionally wound yourself from the enemy. Perfect example, the Titan Barricade. The Titan Barricade will repeatedly deal damage to any guardian who walks into it, but it cannot kill. It'll always leave you with a hair of health, meaning if you walk into it repeatedly, you are going to get a buttload of grenade energy. Is it potentially stupid to willingly walk into an enemy Titan Barricade knowing an enemy can simply pick you off with a light breeze, all at the risk of farming grenade energy? Maybe, maybe. I mean, there are situations in game types like trials where a round may be completely over, all enemies dead on the floor. But an enemy barricade or grenade or super might still be on the field for anyone to walk right into. Just a thought. All right, what's the TLDR here? To me, Whisper of Torment is maybe not a flashy fragment by any means, but a damn strong one, and I rank it very highly in the current meta. Think of how many times per game in PvP you're taking enemy damage, and also think of how annoyingly effective Glacier and Duskfield grenades currently are. Whisper of Torment is 
constantly rewarding you for playing literally no different than you would normally play. I'm telling you this now because whether I share it or not, it's only a matter of time before it catches on more and more in PvP. And the more you know about something, the better you can combat it. Kinda hoping that in the future Bungie maybe strays away from fragments like this. Call me old-fashioned, but I prefer more shooting in my shooter games as opposed to chucking endless ability crap at the other team. Oh well. Or hey, here's hoping that maybe the word combatants really does mean it should only work in PvE, and maybe Whisper of Torment is just bugged and accidentally working in PvP? No clue, but figured y'all have the right to know the info. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.